Now goes to President Obama for his signature. A beautiful day today. You see Jasper there in our sky cam where they've got the Christmas tree lights out. Uh, high 62 degrees today after a low this morning of 30. They're down to 39 right now. It does look like it's going to get a lot colder in the future for Jasper and the entire state of Alabama. First off, show you where temperatures are right now. 40 at Tuscaloosa, 40 Birmingham, 40 Alabaster. All seems to be the number. 35 at Haleyville, 36 at Coleman. So you get the general idea. Uh, we're in the 40s or mid 30s in most areas. May drop a few more degrees. Most areas are going to average out right there in the uh, lower to mid 30s tonight. However, if you're looking for colder air, it's headed our way. Look at it pooling up here across the Canadian border. There's a small storm system, what we call an Alberta Clipper, that is tra transferring across the United States. It will ship the winds around to the northwest and start to drain this air into our region. The fact here is that it will stay in our region for about four or five days. So get used to temperatures uh, for daytime highs in the mid 40s, overnight lows in the mid and lower 20s. It looks like that's going to continue to at least the middle or even the end of the next work week. Here's that Alberta Clipper. You see it here. These usually don't have a lot of moisture with them, so it's causing a few snow flurries and light snow off to our north and not out of the realm of possibility that we might even see some snow flurries over the weekend as far south as northeastern Alabama, maybe even into the Tennessee Valley. As far as we're concerned, maybe some showers around the area tomorrow afternoon. Then the air really starts to funnel in here tomorrow night and Sunday. It is going to be a cold one. Show you what the RPM model is showing us. This is a rapid precision model. Some clouds out there tonight. The clouds increasing during the day tomorrow and a few showers in here. Like we said, maybe a few flurries off to our north and then clear and cold as we get into Sunday. How cold is it going to be? Like we were telling you, some 20s and maybe even some teens for some of the colder locations headed our way. The forecast overnight tonight, mostly flare. Clouds increasing late, 38 as your overnight low. For Saturday, cloudy at times, a few showers, about a 20% chance there, 63. So it's a warm Saturday, but here comes the day on Sunday, and you can look at that. Partly sunny, windy, colder, a northwest wind at 12 to 25 puts the wind chill into the teens. It's just going to be blustery. And if you like colder air, you're going to like this seven-day planner. Look at that, Dave. Mid-40s for one, two, three, four days in there for highs, and into the mid and lower 20s for four mornings in there. So get the, co uh, the coats ready. Uh, get the pets warm if you want to. If you've got poodles or cats <laughs> or chinchillas, get them inside and get them warm because uh, it is going to be cold as we head into the next Protect work week. Check those poodles. Yes, you absolutely. Do. <laughs> all the uh, uh, vulnerable animals definitely this next work week because we have four days in a row where it's just going to be well below freezing each night. You'll need to watch the pets. Great I call to that have miserable. A, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Great to have Johnny O back in the saddle. Oh, thank you. Man. Good to see you. And that's all the time we have for now. Uh, but don't touch that remote control. The Friday Night Blitz is up next. We'll be naming the player of the year, so stay right there. Good night from all of us at ABC 3340 in the night. Watch full-length episodes of your favorite ABC shows 